Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I want to make some corn on a cob pockets, okay? So, we're gonna do another experiment. <laughs> I got a bunch of different paints because I wanna paint them, okay? A bunch of paints sitting here, the colors I wanna use, and I got some ink over here, and I got brushes, I got water. I think I got everything I need. So, we're gonna start out, I wanna put a base on it. So I got squeezed lemon. This is just a base for the corn. We're just gonna put it in the corn so there's a base back there, okay? Because as you can see in between the dots, that might not get colored, I'm putting this in the base, okay? So that, so it gets in those grooves. And these are from coloring books. And if you don't have coloring books with corn on a cob, you can go to color different websites and purchase them. Okay, I think you just pay a buck. This one I think I paid a buck for. One of them, you just pay a buck and then you can print them out or size them the way you want when you print them out. Now I'm taking Distress Brush cord Corridor and I'm just gonna this seems dark. And I don't want to get it on the yellow on my corn. Remember, we're going over this with paint, so I'm just doing this as a backdrop. Maybe I should use the other dollar. So we don't have little circles. that part out of the way and you can just leave them like that but I want to go to a whole new level <laughs> and put paint on them and a bunch of different brushes here to get in the details different sizes that I hope will work I don't know about this one so I think I'm gonna do the inside and then work my way out Okay, so let's start on this one. I want to add yellow in there. And I tried to get thick paint, so I'm using golden yellow multi-surface because it's a little thicker than regular paint. A little thicker. So let's try see what brush works and what brush don't. I kind of want a 3D effect. I will be fast forwarding this video or it will be long. Very, very long. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to set this aside to dry. I'm going to do this one.
Remember, I'm adding more colors to it too. This one. Some of them I might leave plain. See, I really don't like the square look. So I'm just gonna go try to circle around to get a circle. Okay, I think I got it where I want it. I don't want to add any more. There's a bunch of, no, there's not too many. So we're gonna let these dry. And I'll be back. I got to thinking if I want to add some yellow, I better do it now, right? I'm going to do this in first. So I'm going to add some yellow to these black lines. This one's done. If I get it up, not hurting it. I'm finding somewhere nice for it to dry. This one. Okay, beautiful beings, I put yellow there. I forgot to do that. I wanted some yellow in there, so I just put one line. And we're going to continue with Pueblo. <laughs> and I'm gonna only put a little bit here and there on the corn, and that's it. do some orange. How about we just do a couple of this. Let's make this one like all decked out colors. I think that's enough pupil. Get it moved. 
somewhere. Okay, let's put a little bit on here. Maybe we'll just put on here, we'll just put it on the coffee bean but it's so thick I don't know <laughs> it's gonna work if not I got two other color browns I'll be able to get in there without hitting the wet paint. But I'm thinking carrot or well vivid orange. This isn't gonna be thick. Hmm. But I think this would blend in better, but this might. I don't know. Let's let's do some of each. Do a couple of orange, and that's it. This is Golden Sunset, and that maroon was Antique Maroon by Deco. I have no idea now. <laughs> We're gonna try. Here, let me get the rest of this off this brush. It's thick. Let's see, I kind of want to just go in and get rid of those squares. I don't like that square look.
that's right. That one's done. Okay. It done. It done. It done. Let's go back. This one needs black done on this. Okay, beautiful beings. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. And I'm going to glue these down on cardboard and cut around them and then they'll be complete. Okay, beautiful beings. Here is our beautiful corn. I was just trying out some pockets. And what I did is I glued them to a saltine box on the cardboard side. And what I've learned from that is I would recommend to take, cut out your cor corn on a cob and then glue it to the cardboard side of a box. Make sure it's that thin, it's real thin. Just, just so you know, it's gonna hold up as a pocket and then paint it. That's what I've learned in this process. But these look awesome on this brown, <laughs> on this brown cardstock. Okay, like you can have a corner one here. You can have one in the middle of the page if you wanted to. And you can have one over there. You can have it over here. It could be in the middle. It could be up there in the middle. Actually, you can just have a belly band. You can make this belly band if you wanted to. I just got my marker jar holding this because it's kind of flappy because one of these are going in this journal because this is the next journal I'm gonna do. But you can put a belly band Glue it here, glue it here, sew it here, sew it here. Just put a stitch there, just put a stitch there. And that could be a, a middle belly band and then you could decorate around the rest of it. Put another belly band down at the bottom, okay? And this one could be a corner, a corner pocket, like up there. You know, just have it going this way and tuck it or you can put it this way, whatever you want. Just have it tuck. Or you can have it going straight across like like that. Well, that one's too long. This one isn't. This one's just the right size. And just put it like right at the bottom. Or put something here, have a tuck, and then put this in the middle and have a tuck in the middle of the page. I freaking love these. And I'm going to make more. <laughs> okay. And they look so awesome on this brown paper. Okay. I hope you have enjoyed. <laughs> making these with me and I hope you give it a go and if you do please send me a picture at law of attraction crafts at yahoo.com it's in the description have a beautiful everything